Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to VTV. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learning from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence on the internet. Each week I will interview an industry expert on a single topic. We have discovered many of these topics from industry people like yourself and encourage you to let us know if there is a topic you would like us to cover on future episodes of VTV. You can email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and make your suggestion anytime. Welcome to today's episode. Our topic today is online experiential branding. And I'm joined by Lawrence Bernstein. Lawrence is the managing partner of the Bay Charles Consulting Company. He has been a leading proponent of the new order of differentiation and has written and lectured on the subject of experiential branding and intrinsic extrinsic research methodologies in Canada, the US and China. Lawrence is a graduate of Cornell University and is a member of the Cornell University Trustee Council and the Cornell Arts Committee. He has worked for major hotel brands and advertising agencies on projects designed for growth by understanding and delivering meaningful experiences. He is a prolific blogger on various subjects including a number of articles on understanding and amplifying guest experiences in hotels. Lawrence, thank you for joining us on VTV and welcome. Good morning. Well, I, I guess it's afternoon where you are, John. So uh, good afternoon. Uh, our topic today, uh, Lawrence, is experiential branding. And uh, that's an area that we know that you have become quite a subject matter expert in. Can you share with us uh, what experiential marketing is and how an individual hotel can leverage this to either increase bookings or increase guest loyalty, or both. Sure. John, just uh, by way of clarification, you, you use both the expression experiential branding and experiential marketing. And uh, I think it's a good way for me to start this discussion by pointing out that they're actually very different and um, have different roles in the overall marketing mix. Experiential marketing is a term that's referred to uh, very commonly these days for communication exercises that are really involving delivery of some kind of experience um, that are you, sort of get out of the usual television or newspaper advertising and involve uh, experiences such as um, uh, people handing out bottles of water in the street or any of those uh, experiential events that we see so many of. Um, experiential marketing is probably the fastest growing area of uh, com marketing communications today. Experiential branding, which is the area that I'm involved in, is a, an approach to the overall branding and positioning of, of companies and their products that focuses on the experience that the consumer is looking for and the experience the, by which the, the product can differentiate what they are versus any other competitive product. I think we would all agree that it's very rare these days that you can actually differentiate products based on their features or their attributes um, and certainly we try very hard or have historically tried very hard to try to differentiate products based on benefits um, or emotional differentiation, um, things like that. But it's kind of been shown that, um, that, you know, as we say, there's probably nothing that somebody couldn't make a little better and sell a little cheaper, especially given the globalization and the ease with which things can be manufactured and copied in other countries. What we've found is that the only way that you can permanently differentiate yourself or maintain a difference and therefore maintain margins is by understanding the totality of the experience that people enjoy when they are using your product or enjoying your service. And that's what we call experiential branding. If you, I perhaps should, uh, should explain the use of the word branding which um, and again, I'm sure you would agree, is probably one of the most 
overused, uh, confused terms in business management these days. Uh, to us, when we talk about brand, we really are referring to um, the ultimate way in which consumers evaluate people. Your brand is really ultimately what people think about you and how they, and how they therefore respond. With that in mind, uh, when we talk about branding, what we are saying very much is that from our point of view, the, the business is the brand. Everything that, that you do really contributes to how people are going to respond and react. So experiential branding is understanding the business in terms of the way it is experienced by consumers. And that really is. It's interesting. Uh, we've heard this terminology of experience on, on a number of our other episodes. Um, and uh, it, it's been said that the new luxury is really all about experience versus statement. And it seems to me that what you're saying is, is the way that a hotel can differentiate themselves uh, or position themselves against other hotels is by being able to. Uh, articulate and communicate the experience that one would have at that hotel versus, uh, versus others. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about how a hotel might be able to um, start that journey of what the experience at their hotel would be like uh, even before uh, a guest is at the hotel? Yeah, I think, um, John, you make a, a good point that the new luxury is about experience, but I, I would I would argue that luxury has always been about experience rather rather than, as you put it, statement. Uh, there are there are degrees and aspects and attributes of luxury, which um, would be experienced in very different ways. So, in terms of how would a hotel, let's say, for the sake of argument, a boutique hotel. Uh, utilize the uh, the idea of experiential branding with its in order to build its business, and I think that's probably a, a good starting example. What we what we're saying really is that the hotel needs to get out of, of thinking about itself as a product or a service, or even for that matter, which is a very trendy kind of uh, discourse that w that hotels are selling an experience. Well, yes, they're selling an experience but so are all other hotels. The hotel needs to understand that it is one part of a, a broader set of events or activities or, or um, contacts and interactions that are going to contribute to the overall experience on which that hotel is going to be judged and on which people are going to then say, this is the kind of hotel where I want to be and this is the kind of hotel I want to tell my friends about. So, the hotel needs to say, let's forget about ourselves for a moment and let's step out of ourselves and into, as we say, uh, the brains of our consumers. We say, walk a, walk a mile in the brain of your guest and try to understand everything that the guest is seeing and feeling as they go through the, the, the entire process that involves the hotel. In, in one case that we have worked on, we actually uh, uh, measured this really all the way from the airport and tried to relate the way people were feeling from the moment they arrived in the city, which was Vancouver, until they arrived in the hotel and how their process within the hotel played out. And what we found there was that in this particular hotel, which was, was a business hotel, or trying to position itself in, as a business hotel, the, um, what was very important to, to people was not so much the, um, the physical attributes of the hotel or the luxury that the hotel did provide, and this was in fact one of the early boutique hotels, but what was really most important to these people was, was an aspect of the experience that would help them accomplish the business objectives that they were, were undergoing. So the experience um, that, that people were judging the hotel on was really on how successful their trip to Vancouver was 
and not on any a single attribute of the hotel. With that in mind, the hotel was able to define itself relative to business in Vancouver rather than define itself relative to other hotels or um, as some hotels have done, you know, define themselves in, in terms of their bed relative it's to other people's Lawrence, bed. It's interesting, Lawrence. It seems that uh, what I'm hearing you say is, is that the way to differentiate your hotel, again, is uh, by really understanding uh, what the experience is that your travel uh, guests are looking for. And the way, the, one of the, the best ways of being able to prepare yourself for that is, is to look at your hotel less as the product itself uh, is or the services that you might have, but to, for a moment, walk a mile, as you say, in the brain of your guest and understand what the experiences are that they're looking for uh, at your hotel. Um, very insightful, and, and, and uh, we thank you for your uh, contribution to VTV. Uh, this has been a great uh, episode on how experiential branding can help hoteliers uh, leverage uh, their differentiation uh, online and offline, if you will. Uh, so we thank you for joining us today, uh, Lawrence, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, and uh, have a great afternoon. To all the viewers out there, be sure to visit vtv.vfmleonardo.com and post your comments. Tune in next week for more from another industry expert.